Assalamualaikum Dear students, how are you? I hope that you are well by the grace of Allah and staying at home just at this moment I am also fine I am going to take a online class Welcome to online class HSC English I am MD Alamgir Hussain, lecturer the Department of English in Zivar Atharo Jawan SATC College, Tarashat Chita. Okay, dear students, now we are going to discuss about verbs and its classification. Today's topic, verbs and its classification. Okay, let's go. What is verbs? Do you know? What is the definition of verb? Okay, I will tell you. Dear learners, verb is very important part of a sentence. There can be no sentence without verb. A verb is made up of one or two or three words or more than four words. Okay. What is verb? Verb is a word or a group of word that shows what somebody or something else. Again, verb is a word or a group of word that shows what somebody or something does. In short, we can say that verb indicates an action or an event or a state. Verb indicates an action or an event or a state. Okay, look at the following example. He he reads a book. The accident happened near the school. He is happy in his new school. Okay. Dear students, follow the example. In the first sentence, in the first sentence, the word reads that shows the person. He does something. That is, he reads a book. So, the sentence tells about an action. So, reads the verb. And in the second sentence, happened indicates an event. And in the third sentence, is expresses the Expression the state of a life, a state of life. So finally, we can say that verb is a verb is an action or an state or an event. Okay, now we will discuss the classification of verb. Okay. Now we will going to, I will going to discuss the classification of verb. Verbs basically verbs are two kinds. Verbs can be divided into two types that is final verb and number two non final verb. Final verb and 
नॉन फाइनल Do you know what is final bar and what is non-final bar? Okay, I will tell you. Final bar. They have some characteristics. They have some finger features. Final bar and non-final bar. Final bar. Final bar is a bar. Final bar is a bar that expresses complete expression of the sentences. Final bar is a bar that shows complete meaning of the sentences. And on the other hand, non-final bar it does not do that. Final bar that shows the complete meaning of the sentence, but on the other hand, non-final bar. Cannot express his comp its complete meaning of the sentences. Point two, final bar is sensed on the basis of number and person of the subject. But non-final bar is unsensed. It is not. It is not sensed according to number and person of the subject. Number three, final bar helps to catch the tense, but non-final bar cannot catch the tense. Okay, follow the example. <coughs> Okay. I have written two sentences. In the first sentence, we go into college, study, and last one, he goes to market to buy a shirt. In the first sentence, the word went is a verb, and <clears throat> its subject we expresses its complete meaning of the sentences. It expresses its complete meaning of the sentence, and it is sensed according to number and person of the subject. So, when is a final part. And on the other hand, in the second sentence, to buy, to buy is a verb, is a non-final part because it is unsensed. It is not sensed according to number and person of the subject. So to to buy is a non-final part. Okay. Now we will discuss about the classification of final part. Okay. Final part. Final part is. Are two types. Final verb is a two types. Final verb can be divided into two parts. That is, principal verb. Main verb. 
Pichyamhar is a bhaag that expresses that expresses complete expression of the sentences. Pichyamhar bhaag is a bhaag that expresses any, act, any action of the sentences. Pichyamhar bhaag is a bhaag that expresses any action of the sentence. And on the other hand, auxiliary bhaag auxiliary bhaag is a bhaag is a group of bhaag that helps principal bhaag to complete the meaning of the sentence auxiliary bhaag is a bhaag that helps principal bhaag to complete the meaning of the sentence ok look at the following example Two, three. Mm, that is, he, this is, Okay. Dear learners, follow the example. In the first sentence, he teaches the student. And next one, they are going to college. In the first sentence, the, the word teaches in the principal part. Because it can expresses its meaning freely, independently, and it, it does not in the sentences. This is the word "bhag." It does not need any help to complete the sentence. It does not need any help to complete the sentence. In the second sentence, "bhag" "r" is auxiliary verb. "R" is the auxiliary because. There are two sent two verbs here. Go auxiliary verb is seated after principal verb. So are in here auxiliary verb. Dear friends, I tell you that they are going to. Colors here. Here the word R that is auxiliary verb because auxiliary verb is seated before principal verb. Okay. Now I will discuss about the classification of principal verb. transitive verb and intransitive verb principal verb is two types that is transitive verb and intransitive verb what is transitive verb and what is intransitive verb what are they okay i will tell you transitive verb is a verb that takes an object transitive bar is a bar that takes an object it needs an object to complete the sentence on the other hand intransitive bar that is that does not need any object to complete the sentence 
ओके आई विल टेल यू अगेन टेंसिटिव भाग इज अ भाग दैट टेक्स एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड इंटेंसिटिव भाग दैट डस नॉट नीड एनी ऑब्जेक्ट टू कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस ओके फॉलो द एग्जांपल ओके ट्रांजिटिव भाग ही प्लेस ही प्लेस क्रिकेट ही प्लेस क्रिकेट प्लेस इज इज अ ट्रांजिटिव भाग बिकॉज इट टेक्स ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिकेट द इट टेक्स ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिकेट इन द सेकेंड सेंटेंस ही इज प्लेइंग Playing is intransitive verb. Play, play is intransitive verb because there is no object here. It does not need any object. So, play is intransitive verb. Okay, dear students. Now, I am going to finish today's class. See you again. i will try the last of the classification part i will try to discuss it okay see you again